Hello, this is Craig, and I wanted to try to explain what took me 17 minutes a couple days ago with a piece of software today in much less time. This is a simple demo about how to create a fantasy adventure mission. Um, not, a, not a level map. Um, we're not talking about laying out a dungeon. We're talking about a progression of fights and events that is interesting. Uh, think more along the lines of an episode of, of fairy tale or some other an adventure anime rather than a dungeon crawl. So, let's get started. This is the basic. There are two objectives, and this is completely random, so when I reload it, it'll be very, very different. There are two objectives. Here's the good guy objective. This is the one we want to protect. This is the one we want to destroy. This is us. That's them. It goes from the highest level to the lowest level, and in this case, I do have a higher total level, but they lost the throw since the highest level on both sides was the same. Now I want to protect my little base here, so I'm going to interpose. And uh, since I'm already being attacked by them, there's not really much point in attacking back. Instead, I will attack their base. And that's, this guy is trying to figure out what to do. So he's decided he's going to ignore the attack against their base, and instead he's going to attack the village. So, as you can see, the person who gets put down first in this part goes last in the actual mission and the person who gets put, gets put down last in this part goes first in the actual mission. So that level 0 slime is attacking the chunky village with the help of the level 4 slime, since they're close together. And this says the level 4 Alex, that's the one I already put down, attacks evil village reinforced by chunky village. Since I'm within the blue halo of this village, I receive help. And then it says level 4 slimes, that's the very first slime that got placed, will attack chunky village with the level 0 slimes if the level 4 Alex can be killed. Of course, I'm not going to succeed in killing level 4 Alex, but I have to block this guy. Alternately, I could decide to attack him and not block him. So, it says here, level 4 Alex attacks level 0 slimes to prevent their attack on Chunky Village. If I manage to kill these guys off fast enough, then they'll never get a chance to attack, even though I'm not interposing. So, uh, each of these, you can say it's about 10 combat rounds perhaps, so if I move fast I'll be able to defeat these guys before they get to attack the village and the village will be safe. And then this fight breaks out where uh, this this uh, higher level Alex attacks this village and then this guy comes in too late to help uh, and, and it actually develops uh, such that um, uh, let me see if I can, I, I want to restate that. What happens is this level 4 Alex attacks the level 0 slimes to prevent their attack on Chunky Village, as stated here. Then the level 0 slimes attack Chunky Village with level 4 slimes, if, if they're not killed off first. After that, level 4 Alex attacks the evil village reinforced by Chunky Village. So this level 4 Alex is going to attack this village, and she can't be killed off. She's guaranteed, because she goes before the slime that can kill her off, because that's when she gets attacked after she has destroyed the evil village. So let's go ahead and reload and see a different one. So in this case there are no evil objectives, there's just good objectives, just objectives to protect. So I'll go ahead and interpose and fight back. And now here's someone thinking about exactly where he wants to go and what he wants to do, and he's decided that that's just fine. And I'm going to go ahead and build a wall here. This is a very basic turtling technique, where I just basically say, screw you guys. And they're doing the same thing, but you notice that this most recent slime, he didn't try to target the village, he tried to target one of my characters. And that's because if he can kill that character, then this very first slime that was placed will have a free shot on the village. Same thing I did last time with the idea of killing off that one slime that was attacking the village. But, of course, I can attack him, and if I kill him off first, then he never gets a chance to attack to kill off this character. So they're really ganging up on this character. This character is the core piece. I have to keep her alive for the whole session, or that last slime will attack the village and destroy it. She's all that stands between this slime here and the village. So what I've basically set up is I'm trying to kill off these wingmen before they get a chance to attack my primary character. Because if they get a chance to attack my primary character and kill her, then this guy will get a free attack on the village and I'll have lost a village. So you can see that the plot has evolved um, into, into a fairly interesting and complicated plot 
without any need for uh, a plot engine. There's no uh, uh, there's no mysterious uh, setup where it tries to figure out tension and all that stuff. Okay, I want to have one with a with an enemy village in it. There we are. So here he is. He is uh, put himself squarely between the village, and you'll notice that there's actually no space for me to intervene. I cannot get between him and the village. My only hope is to kill him off before he can attack my village, which I'll do by going here. Uh oh, another one. And uh, it's possible that I can kill both of these guys off before they attack my village. But I think that this particular mission may be a little overly difficult. Uh, this is a this is a skin of my teeth mission, where my level zero fighter, my my lowest level character, has to kill someone off in a very few amount of turns. Kill off an enemy three times three higher or four four levels higher than she is, has to kill them off in a limited number of turns while they approach the village. You want to talk tense? That's a tense mission. So now I'm going to see if I can show you some of the defensive capability by blocking these guys but attacking their village. And he's trying to interpose, but he can't quite get the angle right, so he's going to attack instead. Um, the AI is not smart enough to understand exactly where it should go, so it just randomly tries spots. Uh, and I don't really feel like giving him the chance to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. So what I have just set up is uh, I made the mistake of putting this character within the within the aura of this village, which means that she is weakened significantly when she does this. But what she does is she attacks this guy here with the idea of weakening him or even killing him before he gets a chance to attack her. Of course, she gets to go before him anyway. You can see up here the uh, the the computer understands what I've been saying. I haven't been putting words in the computer's mouth. The computer, uh, actually, I've been, I've been taking words from the computer's mouth. Uh, this, I've been reading off these lines, which have said the exact same thing that I have been saying, um, including things like attacking Alex. Uh, so uh, level 2 slimes will attack Chunky Village with, with level 4 slimes if level 4 Alex can be killed. And you gather other things like uh, wanting to kill someone off so, they're donate, so they don't attack someone. Um, uh, I wanted to get the evil village. There we are. Uh, you get you get a whole bunch. It really understands what's going on. This is not a complicated process. So here it says level forms uh, level two slimes attack level four Alex hampered by the chunky village reinforced by the evil village two. Oh, there's too much text. It falls off the side of the screen. It says to prevent her from attacking evil village. Um, I'm trying to find one where I can say it says that quite clearly without. Uh, Oh, they outnumbered me so much that I don't know if they're going to get a chance to defend. Yeah, good. They interposed. So level 4 slimes attack level 4 Alex with level 2 slimes to prevent their attack on level 0 slimes. So, uh, in this case, I got a little bit confused as to what this Alex's intentions were. Um, uh, because the player's intentions are not always clear, uh, it is not clear to the slimes anymore that her original plan was to attack that village. Instead, the slime is kind of thinking, oh, I need to defend myself. But uh, that's a very minor glitch in the uh, uh, in the AI that is going to be fixed eventually, you know. Anyhow, I've gone on and prattled on plenty. I just want to show off that you can, in fact, build a rather epic fight doing this kind of method. And since last goes first, it always ends with the most powerful characters duking it out for their primary objectives. Oh, and for some reason, there's a bug where occasionally one of the slimes will attack another slime. Well, anyhow, that is how it works, and that is the basics.